All right, I'd like to welcome everyone to AP US History, the distance learning program. Um, first of all, welcome back to school. And second of all, I just, I wanna let you all know that as teachers at Lincoln, we're all gonna do our best to make this a smooth transition for you. And if you have any questions, always just ask. We're gonna make mistakes, um, but we're gonna do the best we can to try to give you a good experience um, give you the content that we think you need and uh, just hopefully educate you during this this shutdown so um, I'm going to start by explaining my distance learning syllabus which is already shared in the classroom and some of you've already taken a look at um, obviously class will start March 30th and then uh, how will we communicate uh, Gmail Google email is is the best way to communicate with me uh, if you shoot me emails usually I can respond relatively quickly um, and especially with the questions, that's the best place for questions. Google Classroom is how we will be handling uh, almost all of the homework, tests, um, things like that. And then my school phone number is listed there uh, with the extension. And I'll be at school a lot of the time. Uh, when I'm not at school, though, you could leave a message that way as well. So if you do want to communicate by voice, as of now, the, the phone will be the best but I am looking into Google Hangouts or, or possibly Zoom if that's something you guys want. And that's something I wanna point out. I, I do wanna make this um, open to things that you guys would like to try. If we wanna try a Zoom or a Google Hangout, that's something I'm willing to do. Uh, maybe this first week we just get through um, the, the content, the lectures, things like that, and then we'll go from there, okay? My availability, it says 7.45 to 3.45 Monday through Friday, but I wanna be very open with you I realize you guys might be uh, babysitting younger kids. You might have uh, other work to do for other classes and, and you won't be free until the evenings. I'll, I'll try to answer stuff as I'm available uh, after 3.45 as well, okay? Daily interaction assignment. One of the requirements by the state of Minnesota is that we have to have daily interaction. And so what I have for daily interaction are questions of the day or sometimes just a question of the day to answer in a running journal. This will be available on Google Classroom in weekly lesson plans. Um, you'll see those. I'll point out the weekly lesson plans next. Also in your journals, that's where the crash course uh, stuff will go. Other video stuff as well will go in your journals, just like normal. But the one difference I want to make sure I point out, your running journal should be shared with me right away, just through Google Docs and not Google Classroom. This is so every day I can check in to make sure that um, you're answering the questions and and it's kind of my daily check-in that we have to do according to the state. If you have questions about that, please let me know. And I'll be very flexible with that. If, if you haven't shared it the first day, don't worry. Well, I'll, I'll email you probably separately and say, hey, make sure you share that journal with me so I can check it every day. All right, schedule at a glance. Um, March 30th, we're gonna go over the Great Depression. Just a debrief on that. Um, there'll be a worksheet that you'll need to work on uh, answering some questions. Actually, it's not a worksheet. Um, you just need to summarize the two articles. And you'll see that when I get to the um, articles or the websites. Okay, March 31st, uh, starting Tuesday, then through April 8th, is our World War II unit. Uh, typical chapter work and test, crash course videos and lecture notes. Then starting April 14th, we're gonna learn about the EP final test. You'll learn about some of that earlier as well uh, through a website and a worksheet that will go with that. And then we're gonna start reviewing. Uh, starting already April 15th, and more than likely until the AP exam, we, we will be reviewing. It says a worksheet, but there's actually, I have review sheets ready to go for each unit. And uh, that's where maybe we can work with a Zoom or Google Hangout. We'll, we'll see where we're at at that time. Okay, just some notes on the bottom of the syllabus. The College Board has changed the AP exam to a 45-minute exam you will take from home. How this looks, we do not know yet. We'll find out April 3rd exactly how this will look. That's a massive major adjustment due to the coronavirus shutdown. Um, due to schools shutting down across the country, the AP exam will not cover anything post-World War II. So units eight and nine will not be covered. And that is everything post-World War II. That's a massive change. After eight, April 18th, I will reevaluate. Now, all of this is fluid and subject to change as things around us change. See weekly lesson plans for specific information for the week on homework, tests, video, daily questions, et cetera. So I'm gonna to go to those next, A-Push lesson plans for distance learning. 
week one, week of March 30th. I think I also shared this to the um, classroom. So learning target, um, we're going to debrief right away on the Great Depression. Okay? I can assess the cause of the Great Depression. I can explain how the New Deal program helped America get out of the Depression. So what's your classroom work for day one? Read the following two website articles and summarize what you learned in the Google Classroom assignment. So I decided, uh, since we really didn't get to finish and spend more time in the Great Depression, and since the AP College Board exam people decided to shut off any new information after World War II, we had a day to debrief on the Great Depression. So I decided the most important things I want you to remember and know about the Great Depression are the causes and the impacts of the New Deal. So if you'll take a look at both of these websites. The first one um, is all about the causes of the Great Depression. Okay, there's a video you can watch if you want, but most of it is reading about all the different causes. It, it's not super long, um, and I want you to summarize what you've learned. Okay, And the next one is from the History Channel itself, and it talks about the history or the impact of the New Deal programs, and the internet's a little slow here. And that's something we're gonna have to work through as well, uh, how internet works at your house. Um, obviously with thousands of people now working from home, internet um, bandwidth, uh, stuff like that might be slowed down. So uh, the title is, Did New Deal Programs Help End the Depression? And it just goes through uh, and this one's a little shorter than the, the causes one. Read through it and summarize what you learned. Okay? And so, and, and if you'll read through what it says, it says, read the following two website articles and summarize what you learned in the Google Classroom assignment. And what it is, you'll just have to share a document with your summaries. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. And some of you have already, I already see you've shared a journal with me. So you need to create a distance learning journal in Google Docs, share it with me, questions of the data answer. So, here are the two questions I have for you today. What has been your favorite and least favorite part of the shutdown? Um, I have five children at home and each one of them has been dealing with this uh, crisis uh, differently. Um, some it's been real positive and some not so much. So what do you like about it? What don't you like? And then one other one, uh, the second question of the day for Monday, March 30th. So far, what has been your favorite unit in AP US history? And uh, feel free to write, write as much or as little as you want here. I don't want day one uh, to be a lot of work for you. I want to debrief on the Great Depression, and I want you to just answer these two simple questions. There's no right or wrong answers for, for any of this. Okay. Uh, some quick announcements for you. I talked about the new AP exam format is 45 minutes, and an exam you could take from home. I do have a link to a video explaining this from a, another teacher who, who has explained in his own words what this might look like. Go ahead and take a look at that if you want. We will find out a lot more April 30th. Okay, I'm going to stop there for today. Uh, tomorrow, I'm going to lecture on World War II. Um, I'll start with an intro of the unit, and we will go from there.